Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial where we will be modeling this two-handed Danish sword. Oh, quite a beauty, isn't it? And now in Blender. Well, start with inserting image which we choose, deleting that cube, just that we will be able to create another one. And that's just Blender joke, you will understand it later. And set everything to zero. Now when we see how the picture is made, we can start working just like that but I actually prefer to rotate it on axis for 90 degrees just like that wonderful well, so we will start with handle so time to create a cylinder with only eight verticals you had probably something like 24 over here so you, we will pick eight since this is game model and over here we will use triangle fan because you basically, you basically don't want to have angle on there you can see it when we pick wireframe when you have it like this it's uh, it's angle on and that's something we don't want we want oh we want triangle fan yes so now we will rotate it about 90 degrees well one more time we will rotate it about 90 degrees wonderful and move it to place where it should be. Let's zoom it a little bit. And change size. As I said, it's not completely without perspective, so we have to adju adjust it a little bit. Is it working as it should? Oh, come on, my dear model, where are you? Oh, there you are. Wonderful. We will actually bring, bring it too closer to reference. There is actually no particular reason for it, but I prefer to work with it like that. It's just my personal preference. So, now we need to choose this transparent mode because if we hadn't choose it we were we wouldn't be able to select all the verticals without it i have selected only these verticals but when i switch it on and go back to this mode i have selected everything so now let's take this size a little bit down something like that that's great. That's just great. And now we can move this little bit down too. And as you can see on the reference, which you can't actually see, so let's quickly hide this cylinder. We have a separation part from two hands. There's first hand and second hand. So second hand. Yeah, this is second hand sword. <laughs> So we need to create it over here too and that's tool we will use for it is loop cut and bevel now once we did it we can use extrude change it a little bit and now scale it i again used shift space bar now we can adjust size to let it look like we want And now we have wonderful sword over here, at least wonderful handle. So another thing we need to do is this part. I'm not quite sure how it is called, to be honest. That's quite a shame because I am swordsman, at least I was. So what we will do is there is a little space, so we will create that first. Um, excuse me. Oh, I forgot to change it back to this. So we need to erase it and now move it. That's called extrude and we have it over here. Now let's select everything again, which is always quite unsuccessful. All right, let's not select everything. Let's get back to this. And just scale it. When I'm scaling it, I'm clicking S on the keyboard. On the keyboard, it's very important to learn shortcuts as soon as possible. 
This will save your life once. Well, we did quite a f mistake over here. And I will fix it very soon. I selected everything with clicking shift and alt. Now let's move it. Shift spacebar G and scale it down. Great, I would say. There are separate there are some separation spaces as you can see. It's how would I say it? It's uh modeled into the model into this sphere sphere and we will do it once we will create a high poly version of this model now when we have handled done we will continue on guard we will again click shift a and create cube which is created somewhere where we can't see it but it doesn't matter we will find it very shortly i just decreased size a little bit but you actually don't need to do it you can do it with s as scaling just like before now what is it oh there we are let's move it to meet with handle and position it to where it should be now with shift space bar s we can change its size which is exactly what we need to do right now what about that? I would say that this is quite nice. So let's cl cl uh, click tab. That will get us to edit mode and number three. Then we are uh, in poly elegon polygon edit mode. And again, it's basically the same process. I will extrude part, click R for rotate and with g adjusting it a little bit as it should look like but now the thing we will change is to click here to transform orientation and set it to normal because like that when i click on a scale i can adjust size without deformating it which is exactly what i need to do so i can scale it down a little bit and move it but since, since this will be a little bit boring, I will speed this process up for you. Wonderful. But as we can see, it's quite white. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't look like that on the reference, which we can actually check. It's quite thick on these parts. So what we will simply do is to click 2 on the keyboard and select all these edges well it didn't work on that last one so i need to select it by hand and now i will just be adjusting size Now you can check if everything looks as it should and for me i think it's quite great i like it like that now what we need to do is to select object and duplicate object don't move it that much and just rotate it for yes 180 degree and now we can move it as we need to with G, of course. And adjust it as it should look like. You can use these lines as guidelines at least a little bit. Well, you can't actually. Now I can select both objects and click J. No, Sotrala J. And I may just from them one object which was exactly what I needed. Three for polygons, deleting those faces, these are faces, and connecting it. Just simply I will select two edges and click F. Ok, 
great. So now we need to make this beautiful shape. How to do it? One, oh my god, how will I do it? Well, I will use classic select tool and move it up like that. And now I will actually select even this because otherwise it will make some trashy things in our mesh and we want to have our mesh as clean as possible. Sec set transform back to global and bring it together. Well, it's actually quite deformating it, which it shouldn't be. What the hell is going on? Oh, all right. Let's not talk about it right now. And now we will again use this the beautiful loop co loop tool. Select it. And scale it down. Now oh, come on, not like that. And we will definitely add one more here. Now I would say it's starting to look just as we want. To have it more realistic we can add here another extrude and scale it down. Wonderful. So the next thing we need to make is our blade. And I think that by now you should be able to do it without any problems. So I will make this part just really quick. And now, how to make Hypoly model? Well, you will simply use this modifier, which is called subdivision surface. But as you can see, it doesn't actually do what we need well it actually it does but not how we imagine it should look like so i will work on this model but you should make a copy of it and then to be able to create your to still have your low poly model well, how how to make it work as we want it's quite simple you just need to add verticals and edges to every hard hard point you want basically to every part you want to have edgy to have to have a, like a hard edge let's see what it will do now Oh, I think that this is way better than it was before. What do you think? We can add one more here. And let... Oh, excuse me. Where are we going? Move these verticals. A little bit back. And this single vertical a little bit up. Like that. See? That's basically what I wanted. And now I will again make a speed version of these other items. So 
So, that's everything. Well, if you are interested in anything more, you can check out my stream over here. And then I'm sometimes streaming how I'm working with Blender, sometimes games. And I would like to make more tutorials like this. So if you are interested in seeing some, just comment what you would like to see. Or That's basically everything. <laughs> have a nice day, have a nice modelings, be awesome, be smart.